Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the Studio Rats. Oh yes. Now you may remember a little while ago, Paul and I had our first experience of guitar auctions. Mm -hmm. And personally I think I did rather well with the, the, the Jaguar. We said, yeah, we said this a few times, you've done, yep. you and did really well. And the 12 string that's been repaired to its full glory and loveliness. I will bring that at some point for us to nice. chew over. Nice. But my, fan, my friend Paul Drew here, um, well, you took a cheeky punt, didn't you, quite literally? Well, so I was watching the auction, because the auction's obviously live and you can watch it on the internet. Did and you get a bit finger happy? Well, well, I saw, so all the Hofners came up, which is obviously what this, what this is. And I was thinking, God, that's a nice old looking guitar. And for not much money. Yep. And, and, you know, they're all going through and they were selling for four, 400 quid, 500 quid. And you're talking about a guitar that was properly handmade in 1960 something. 1962, I think this one is. Yep. So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty old. And Let's pretty, get on a bit. Yeah. And, and I thought, God, that looks nice. And, and I thought I'd take a punt because I thought, well, well that looked nice in the lounge. Yeah. Because it does, it does look. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? It's a kind of three, three, five without the cutaways, isn't it? Yes, it's that sort of. It's a lo lovely sort of um, what do you call an arch top back or a bowl back, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's got um, an arch top back, and it's it's got f holes, and it's 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 a, uh, the model is a Senator Thin. So, um, Paul had never seen this guitar in the flesh until I brought it this morning because it, I went to get it from the auctioneers down in Bath. Um, I then took it to Steve Barrett at the Guitar Lodge in Felixstowe, big shout out to Steve, um, to have a look at it and give it the once over and basically tell us, is it what you might term a quote unquote uneconomical repair because it does need some work. It needs a lot of work. It needs quite a lot of work. I mean, least of all, it's got frets from 1960 that have, been, <laughs> that have been almost played flat. Yeah. I'm amazed you could play. I, I mean, it's, it's you, you can barely play. It's got very light strings on it. It's got the original, I mean, it's not, it's not the original strings. It's got the strings that we bought it with, which are... I've seen better days is an understatement. Oh my God, they're, they're black and they're corroded. Yeah. So, so even with old strings on it, it sounds... Interesting. It's a really interesting guitar. It's acoustic sound. I've, I instantly made me go, hang on, there's something in this. We should, yep. uh, we, <laughs> like I'm spending his money. Um, <laughs> I think it's worth the repair. However, it probably needs its neck reset because of the angles and things between the bridge. The bridge is wound down pretty much as low as it will go. Okay. Steve did say the neck would probably need to come off and be reset and stuff. It needs refretting, which probably needs quite a lot on such an old piece of timber that they're not going to come out quickly, let's no, face it. No, no, no. It's going to make a mess. Uh, it's got new-ish um, shallows, shallows yeah, shallow sh machines. Um, so hence it stays reasonably well in tune. Can I, where can I show? I need to... Oh, where's, down, where's the, oh, there's, down, the there's the camera. Oh, down, 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 down. There's the camera. Can't get the, can't get the help these days. Oh, uh, is that even focusing? Not even close. Oh, well, you know they are. Yeah. You know um, are. But I said even acoustically, it's got a thing. Plug it in. It's got. A, it's almost like my old 60s Echo. That kind of, again, the thing with the ridiculously long whammy bar. Oh, yeah. yes. It's I got that thing. The, 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 the electronics or the, the, the pickups need some serious help because we had to do some serious jiggery-pokery to get things to work. Yeah. But it's got a thing. And it's got a thing that you don't have in your guitar arsenal. No, it's, it's really vintage. Um, it does need some help. I mean, the binding around the fuchsia in the back, the binding is, well, quite frankly, missing around the bottom section, which means the back is probably coming away. It's been badly super glued in a few places. It's been pinned, and it probably could do with the binding coming off and being replaced. There's what I would refer to as Brummer, <laughs> you know, the stuff they use on staircases that's been used to fill in around it is, the back. Yeah. yeah, it's filler. So it's, yeah. Someone's put some sort of brown filler in. So but it's, it's got a beautiful thing to it. So I put some delay and some, uh, some trim on it. Not easy to play. <laughs> not at the moment. <laughs> but I mean, I love the fact that it's all got that kind of cracking in the, the varnish. It, yeah. You know, it's just beautiful. It is, it is lovely, isn't it? It's got like, yeah, so it's, it's the patina in the, 
all, all the all, all the nitrocellulose lacquer is is cracking to the point where it it does look fabulous. Now these pickups, there's no way that these original these got dug out of some sort of super straight in the eighties, I reckon. Really? You think so? They're they're definitely not original. They're they're seventies or eighties. Ham, ha, hammer or Hamer, depending on how you want to. Yeah, I think it's Hamer. Um, but it still sounds really good. Should we gain it? Go on, give us some juice. Um, yeah, I switched the channel on, on the amp. Uh, no, no, uh, over, over uh, there, okay. switch that across. Really hard to play, that's really hard. It's also quite noisy. The yeah, wiring is clearly straight out of 1960, but what do you know? What I'm pleased I bought that. Yeah, I think it's a fun thing. Yeah, I, I I'm not sure whether the 600 quid would be an investment to get it up to you know up to a stable playable state. I'm not sure. I mean, it's your dough after all. I, I, I'd be tempted just because I'd like the idea of having something that old in my collection and yeah. stuff. I, I'd be very tempted to give it to to someone like Steve at Guitar Lodge, although Steve did say it's... He didn't exactly use the words money pit, <laughs> but it could be. So you need to get it, get it to a Luthera, Luthier that you really trust and someone that that isn't going to go <laughs> yeah. and take you to the cleaners on it. I, I think I'm going to take it down to Alex at Guitar Guitar. Yeah. And just see what he can do because I've got to go and pick up my three three five. Mm -hmm. That's being uh, that's been all set up. But do you know what? I'm pleased. I'm pleased I got that. Good. I'm glad because yeah. I, I I've played it a couple of times and gone. It's got a thing. Yeah. And I don't know what that thing is, but it's got a thing. And and it's a lovely piece of you know guitar history. It's it awesome. It is. Yeah. It's nice. Now we just switched the cameras off because we finished the video. But as I took the lead out, we flipped it around the back. And I don't know if you can see it, but if you look at the the flame on the back it is absolutely stunning it's almost like what you'd get on a it's violin quality isn't it well it's well it's like a 58 less pull the, the really tight mm -hmm. tight flame on it absolutely stunning it's, it's old timber it's yeah. really old timber and it was it wasn't grown in a hurry like modern guitar timber is go around the sides look how beaten up the neck is Anyway, so I uh, hope you got something out of that. I think the, th the thing to take the takeaway is that auctions can be dangerous. Yeah. If you get a bit mouse click happy. Yeah. But occasionally a, a diamond will come from the rough. Well, let's hope it is after it's been refretted. And stuff. So I really hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. My name's James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, all the normal stuff. Mm -hmm. And we will see you again very soon.